three year old trotting fillets lined up behind the gate for the four hundred thousand dollar delvin miller memorial trot here they come and they're off too long got a quick start from the outside blood stocks chant being chased away early dream valley o m comes out well on the inside she's trotting up third rum boogie is eased away from between horses fourth Infinite's uprising to her inside. Lovely to behold closest to the rail. Rum Boogie now three wide. Infinite's uprising has gone on a break. Just got a feeling racing from off the pace. Seventh on the inside. Canlan Hall moves around a breaker three deep. Poster Princess skims the cones up into eighth. And Biddo Candy follows her from last. The opening quarter in 28 and one. And it's Bloodstock's chant who's two and a half lengths in front. Dream Valley OM is second. Oolong, a great early spot, racing third. Lovely to behold is two lengths further back, fourth. Rum Boogie begins to edge off the pylons from fifth. Just got a feeling is sixth on the inside. Canlan Hall trying to flush live cover. And there goes Campbell taking his shot right now with Oolong up on the outside. She's now second and coming after Bloodstock's chat as they reach the half in 57 and 1. And Lovely to behold gets out to follow Oolong. And Oolong's going to clear as they head out to the far turn. Lovely to behold moving up on the outside is now racing in second. Dream Valley OM comes to the outside and that pushes Rum Boogie three wide on the turn. Bloodstock's chant is now locked in beginning to drop back on the inside and has gotten rough gated on a break there as they head toward the three quarter marker and it is Oolong who shows the way. Lovely to behold racing in second. Three quarters 125 and 2. Rum Boogie trying to overcome a tough trip. Dream Valley OM looking for some racing room is trapped in and it's lovely to behold kicking up alongside Oolong. These two going at it. Lovely to behold takes the lead but drifts out and Dream Valley OM has racing room. Dream Valley OM trying to get by. Lovely to behold. Lovely to behold drifting across the track but leading it. Lovely to behold has won it. Dream Valley OM second. Close for third. I'm guessing Poster Princess in 154 and 3. After reviewing the videotape replays, the judges have found no violation. No violation. Results will stand as posted. Lovely to behold now in the winner's circle, Tom Gonzalves of North Chelmsford, Massachusetts, owns and trains Jim Doherty in the sulky. Lovely to behold, only her second career victory, 154 and 3, the time for the mile. In the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation, Mr. Tom Charters, the president of the Hamiltonian Society. Certainly an emotional moment for Mr. Charters, who worked for Delvin Miller for many years. In fact, he was the caretaker of one of Del Miller's great trotting mares, perhaps the greatest ever, Del Monica Hanover. Tom Charters, the president of the Hamiltonian Society, with the Del Miller Memorial trophy presentation. Results official, the two lovely to behold, $1340-620-4653.40, and the pick three pays $759.80. Here's the In complete the order of finish for the sixth race. Sixth race results, 9, 8, 1, 7, 2, 10, 4, 5, 3, 6. That's 9, 8, 1. Be careful what they're leaving, and uh, things worked out good for me, and she, she, you know, she's a good filly. Coming on uh, the final turn, I know you attacked, you came after the leader there. What were you thinking? Rum Boogie had been pushed wide at that point. Well, I thought I had a pretty good chance right at that point. And uh, earlier tonight, Starship Enterprise, happy with his effort? Yeah, he raced good. You know, he could be, but he raced good. Okay, Mr. Consalves, if you come on in here for a second, sir. We've seen you uh, owning horses before, now you're training two. You New Englanders stick together, huh? Yeah, well, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Tell us how you came about getting level to behold, and why'd she race only once last year? Uh, last year, she raced once late, it was late comer, and uh, I decided to save her for a three-year-old. Okay, and coming into this field here, uh, Run Boogie's a horse to beat, but last couple weeks you sort of noticed that you're a contender too, a real horse. Yeah, at least I know now she can go in any, with the best, and I didn't know that, but uh, I'm pretty sure of that now. You were surprised tonight that she went, uh, she withstood all those challenges here to the stretch? Look like they might well, be going by her. She's pretty nice filly. She can make anybody look good, you know? I mean, me, even me, you know? How long have you been training? We've seen your name as an owner for quite a while. I've had my trainer's license for about 23 years, but I just, I've been very busy making money. <laughs> now, now I can play a little, you know? Okay, what's next for her? Uh, she's got the uh, Hamiltonian Oaks. Okay, looking, uh, looking good. Level to behold, Jimmy Darty, Thomas Gonzalez win the biggie here at the Del Miller final. Before we leave, Jimmy, your memory's quick of the Del Miller. Of course, I know that was a good friend of yours. 
Yeah, oh, yes, uh, Del Miller, uh, one of the greatest guys ever. Um, you, you know, tremendous driver, tremendous horseman, just a uh, good businessman. Uh, he did it all, just a great person and uh, good to everybody. Yeah, no nonsense woman you won with uh, two years ago, and this year's two out of three. Well, I've been lucky to have two good fillies. Hopefully, we'll see Jimmy Doherty in the Hamiltonian Oaks and the Hamiltonian this year. Good luck to all the members of Lovely Behold.